gay man to do. Now this is what I suspect. God knew what the name ought to be. But he brought the animal to him to see what he would call it. And when he called it, it was affirmative. You see, there are things in you that heaven has put in. But heaven waits for you to echo it. See, there's an industry you are carrying. It's bugging you. You're wondering how on earth can I come up with it? Don't worry about it. It's not your business to worry about the details. You start the first protocol by giving a marker to it. Call it. We call the things that are not as though they were. Why? They were. But we are bringing them by our words. They transport on the words of men and enter into this world. We capture it by our words. Our words become containers. It becomes a framework to establish it. Can you look at someone and tell them you are blessed? Yes. And listen, sometimes we, we underestimate our words. Like when I meet you and I say good morning, what I'm doing to you is prophesying your morning. I'm categorizing your morning. I'm telling your morning that it's going to be good. Can you talk from the place of a little bit of confidence? Let it come from your spirit. Let it come from understanding. There is power released when you do that. Everything responds when we begin to establish markers. Listen, you are not going to fail. You are going to succeed. You are going to become what God says. By men's words, by women's words, lives are, are lifted. The power of life and death is subject to your power. My goodness, that little thing in your mouth, the whole of life, the whole of death, submits to it. Speak. That life will have permission to flow. Speak. That the things that don't need to be living around you would have an exit. Make sense? Yeah, man, stop. You know, not, not mark your days. Mark your days, mark your years. Declare over the week the things that are going to happen in the week. Take life a little into your hands. Don't let, you know, you know we, we say things like under the circumstances. And a, a, a friend of mine said, What are you doing under there? <laughs> you know, sometimes you know, we, we use our own mouth to, to dictate how life goes. It's a gloomy day. Speak life. Speak words. 